welcome back guys to Banjo Tooie. Let's continue on. Alrighty, so last time we had just finished up at Hailfire Peak, so now it's time to move on to the next world, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Oh, for the record, just wanted to show this real quick. I did get the those ten music notes that I had missed at Hailfire Peaks. Turns out they were right next to that uh, really hot pond of water near the start of the level. Look, look, it's the pond of water that you would open up to drain into uh, Jolly Roger's Lagoon. They were just in the in the cave nearby, and there were both sets of them there. So that was cool. All right, so let's take on Cloud Cuckoo Land. This is a very unorthodox way to enter a world, and you're about to see why. Get ready for a really weird world. So yes, welcome to Cloud Cuckoo Land. Now, I I'm not a big fan of this world, I kind of feel like it's the same way I feel towards Pterodacty Land, like, it's just okay. But it's such a massive level that, I don't know, it's a bit off-putting. Anyway, let's talk to this guy over here. Fancy a little physical exercise for a ball? Not really. Yes, you do, Banjo. <laughs> right, I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit, I am. So fit, in fact, that if you can beat me in free events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar's set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over, to jump over it to win. I think we should be able to do that. Now, believe it or not, there aren't actually that many warp pads in this stage. There's this one and one in the central cavern, and that's pretty much it. Our main method of transportation for this for this world is going to be these plants. Whoa! Crazy. Now we can drill open these dirt patches. Ah, that's what I needed, some springy step shoes. Now let's head back. Now let's clear the high jump. There we go. How did you do that? Never mind, we'll move on to event 2 when you find me. There he goes. Ah, one of those type of races, huh? Can't actually remember what that type of race is called, but it involves hopping in a bag. Alright, there's still a couple dirt patches here, so let's dig them open. Ooh, a seed! I found a strange-looking seed. Is it edible? Probably not, Kazooie. Oh, there's another one. That's empty. And an empty honeycomb piece. Now you might re recognize that bee there. It's one of the Zumbas from Banjo Kazooie. Gotcha. There's another plant thing here. Ah, evil flower. Now you might have noticed that um, Canary Mary actually makes her return here. I'm not going to deal with her just yet, but we will have to soon. Now there is a reason to come in here right now. That's because... There's a Jinjo in her on her rafters. Gotcha. Whee! 
So let's play, take this plant thing to get back to the other side. Boing, boing. Now we're gonna drop down here next. Ah, hello, Globo. Come here. I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. Hey, there's an ice cube over there. I wonder if that's George the ice cube. We met and destroyed his wife in Hailfire Peaks. Ooh. That's not creepy at all. It's, you also notice it has a jiggy within it. Unfortunately, we can't get that just yet. That sun's really bright. Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks with my, with my wife Mildred when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give me a little push. Well, okay, if you insist. There he goes. Wrong side! Tell Mildred I love... Uh, he's gone. I feel kind of bad. We killed both of them now. Now that's ironically what we needed to cool off that really hot pond of water there. I don't know how an ice cube would keep it cold for long, but, you know, there you go. And we now have access to a flight pad. Someone's in the air. Defend your jiggy at all costs. Now, those eyeball things only activate if something's flying around near them. Oh, wait. Uh, isn't there something else here? Here in this cave. Ah, yes, there is. It's a switch! With a number one on it. We haven't actually met the safe yet, but trust me, we're going to have to find all four of those switches in order to open, open him, up, him up. All right, let's get to flying. I think there's another switch in the back of this trash can here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. That one has the number four on it. So we have a one and a four so far. This giant trash can we can't enter with the pair together, because we will have to enter that place alone. Oh, wait a second. Isn't there... Aha! There is! Empty heavy coat piece. Goodbye. Thank goodness for the fall proof cheat, cheat being on. There's something we can do with this pool of water here. Oh, 
there's a Kazooie rock, so let's use Talon Torpedo on it. What that's gonna do is it's gonna drain the water from this pond. Believe it or not, that's gonna drop it all the way down to Pterodactyl, Pterodactyl Land. So we finally got to help out poor old uh, Dippy over there. There you go, Dippy. Fresh water to drink. Yippee, my pool's full of water. Where did it all come from? Mmm, tastes heavenly. Well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. Did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. Ah, thank you, Mr. Dinosaur. Now that should be the last Jiggy that we need from Pterodactyl Land. All we need left from there is that Cheeto page that we can get from heading to, to his pool. Okay, good. At least I can just climb back out of here. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I must have hit the edge of the world there. There is another empty honeycomb piece there, but I don't think I'll get it just yet. Because I don't think there's a flight pad from this angle. Or, on this platform, I should say. I know there's a couple spots where we can plant these beans that we found. Ah, this is one of them. Okay, that's one, uh, not bean, but seed. I think we'll just have to head into the central cavern. Let's get back out there, because I'm not done exploring the exterior yet. Nope, not from this angle. But I think around each of the exits of this place you can find, well, almost all of the exits, the central cavern, you can find mu the music notes of this world. Should be able to get back to the flight pad on this side. Yeah, good. Oops. Now you're probably going to notice very quickly that there's two mumbo skulls in this area. There is a reason for that. We'll investigate that soon, but not just yet. Where is that other bean spot? I'd like to find it. That's where I planted the first one, I think. Yep. But it 
it's eluding me at the moment where the other one is. Ah, maybe it's up here? Ah, darn it. I didn't want to fall. Oh, well. Well, not fall, I guess. I should, I should say I didn't want to land. That works, I guess. them beans, they're just seeds. Alright, there's one more thing I want to do before we head inside the central cavern. Let's use that flight pad one more time. Oh, never mind, I'm gonna die. Not exactly what I meant to do. Oops. Oh well, that'll give me a chance to replenish the feathers at least. Once we drop off the cliff here. That's a little better. There's another cave entrance at the very top of the cliff, I think. There it is. Very careful up here, so that Zumba doesn't knock us down. Okay, good, we nailed him. So there's the treble cleft in this world. And there should be another, uh, switch for the safe in here. Yep, there it is. That one has an 8 on it. And now to get back down the fast way. Ah, shake it off, Banjo, you're fine. There, yeah, there's these weird enemies in here that look like kind of cardboard cutouts. They just kind of pop out of the ground infinitely. It's a little strange. Ow. That one's holding a, a wiener. Yeah, definitely check all of the entrances and exits of this place, so that if you want to find all of the music notes.
out of my way, you weird things. Ow. Quit it. Oh yes, and I do have the honey back cheat on, so Banjo and Kazooie are s very, do slowly regenerate their health whenever they're hit. Where's the safe? We definitely came through there before. Ah, it's over this way. There's the safe. Greetings, fleshy ones. Wow, a talking safe. Correct, I'm a Super Stash Deluxe, four digit infinite combination reinforced strong box. But four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one likes a wise guy. <laughs> it's enough up here. Let's have a look inside then. Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more on your intelligence chip. I know, sorry fleshy ones, but if you can find the combination, I'll gladly open up. Well, considering we've already found three of the numbers, we're almost there. Is there another exit up here? I think way up high. Ah, yes, I do know where that exit leads, actually. Let's go back down. Alright, so let's gr grab that ledge there and climb across. Come on, get up there. Thank you. There we go. Alright, now the last safe combination should be in here. Yep, there it is. This one's a nine. 1984. Oh yeah, 1984. I should have remembered that. It's a real rare date. You get it? Thank you for the jiggy. Yeah, 1984 is another, another reference uh, to Rareware's very first game on the NES, Saber Wolf. that I might have missed. Hey, wait, there's a sign under here. She who mends carts can also fix mice. He's talking about Canary Mary. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go see her soon. Anyone who's played this game probably knows what's coming up with this next race against her. These enemies are so goofy. Ah, here's some more music notes here as well. Now we're gonna split the two up. Where are those claw clamber boots? Ah, there they are. There we go. No 
music boots there. Uh, there's some. Oh, wait, uh, there's a ginger here. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and hatch this egg with Kazooie. Oh, hello there. Wow, that's a rare Floatus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. Floaters can't speak, but I'm sure their lighter-than-air ability is useful for something. Well, you're right there, Jam Jars. Let's switch back over to Banjo. What Banjo will be able to do is stuff this into his backpack and use it to float temporarily. You can use this to cross gaps. Okay, good, we made it. Now we'll just shimmy on in here. Ah, there's the last two music notes. Great! Now that's all the music notes in the game collected. Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk, you will go. And this is also the last Jam Jar's ability that he has to teach you, and it's for Banjo only. The Sack Pack. When faced by da danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop. Hold button Z, then tap down up Z. Safely inside is where you'll be. Thank you, Jam Jars. So yeah, that was the last ability that we could learn in the game. Ow. Ow, stop it. Not that it really matters since we have re regenerating health. Alright, let's switch back over to Kazooie. We've got some stuff for her to do outside, so let's get going. 